Question 146. Water canal system in sponges does not carry out the function of circulation of water, respiratory exchange, removal of waste, locomotion. The water canal system in sponges help in food gathering, respiratory exchange, It also helps in removal of waste, and transfer of sperms. There is a central cavity called spongocele and minute pores on the surface called as ostia. The ingressing water enters into this central cavity spongocele and leaves its body through this opening called as osculum and this system of water canals helps in circulation of water that is right respiratory exchange removal of waste but not in locomotion the sponges are sessile sessile means they are fixed to one place and cannot move thus it does not help in locomotion the correct answer here is option number four question 147 Ciliated comb plates seen in tenophores primarily help in sensory function, locomotion, excretion, reproduction. If you look at the body structure of a typical tenophore, we can see these eight green structures. These are called as comb plates and they are called comb plates because each one of these external rows have cilia on them which gives an appearance similar to that of a comb and these comb plates help in locomotion when these cilia beat together in a synchronized fashion it helps the tenophore to move from one place to another and hence tenophores are also known as comb jellies because the body is 99 percent water it gives it a jelly like appearance with these comb plates on them so the right answer here would be option number two locomotion whereas option number one sensory function excretion reproduction these systems are absent in tenophores so this is incorrect my right answer here is option number two locomotion question 148 select the incorrect statement about sea walnuts we have to look for an incorrect statement about sea walnuts sea walnuts are nothing but tenophores and these tenophores are also known as comb jellies. Looking for an incorrect statement here, option number one, they exhibit bioluminescence. This is correct. The property of a living organism to emit light is called as bioluminescence and this is a characteristic feature present in tenophores. Option two, development is indirect. This is also correct. The fertilization in a tenophore is external means it occurs in the water outside the animal body and then the zygote which is formed develops into a free swimming larva and this larva is also called a cydipid larva thus the development is indirect because a larval stage is present option 3 reproduction takes place only by sexual means Yes, this is true. Tenophores or sea walnuts reproduce only by sexual means. And this also means that asexual mode of reproduction is absent in tenophores. They cannot reproduce asexually. Option 4, fertilization is internal. This would be incorrect because external fertilization is seen in tenophores. Thus, option 4 is incorrect. The correct answer here is option number 4. Question 149. Parasitic adaptations in platyhelminthes include all except hooks, suckers, absorption of food through body surface, thin calcareous tegument. The parasitic flatworms, that is platyhelminths, and this helps them to obtain nutrition from host body. Option 1 hooks is one of such adaptations because it acts as an attachment organ. Suckers in platyhelminthes help in adhesion to the host body. Option 3 absorption of food through body surface. This is also right 
As some of these uh, parasites have a flat body, they directly absorb the nutrients through body surface. This is particularly seen in tenia, thin calcareous tegument. No calcareous tegument is not present. They show the presence of, in fact, thick tegument. Tegument that is the external covering. And their body needs to be covered by a thick tegument. Thus, the thick tegument provides protection against the digestive juices of host. It is not thin and it is not calcareous. That is why this is the incorrect option. Hence, our answer. The correct answer is option number 4. The tenia solium, that is your tapeworm and liver fluke is shown here. The tapeworm takes nutrition directly through the body surface by diffusion, whereas this part of liver fluke is oral sucker, which helps it to suck food from host body. Question 150. Which one of the following statements about certain given animals is correct? Let's go over the options one by one. One, circulatory system is of open type in hemichordates. This is a right statement, hence is our answer. Option number two reads, body of limulus is covered by a calcareous shell. Limulus is king crab. It's a living fossil and a member of phylum Arthropoda. The body of limulus is covered by chitinous exoskeleton and not by calcareous shell. So this is incorrect. Option 3. Body of platyhelminth ascaris is circular in cross section. Ascaris is a round worm and comes under the classification and comes under the phylum ascalminthes. It's not a platyhelminth so this becomes incorrect. And yes, it is circular in cross section, but the platy, the phylum is incorrect. Option 4 Mollusks are mostly viviparous. This is incorrect. Mollusks are mostly oviparous. They are dioecious and undergo indirect development. So, this is also incorrect. So, the correct answer here is option number 1.